Hello everyone and welcome back to something of everything. In this tutorial we will learn about how to add grids in Stat Pro. To add the grids for drawings, beams and plates use the following procedure. You can click on geometry and grids to add the beam grid, triangular plate grid, quad plate grid or solid grid. Click on any one and press. You can see a window, a dialog window will open. Click create and a pop-up dialog opens for defining grid details. Select the type of grid that is linear, radial or irregular. You can add any of them. Let us see one by one. The pop-up dialog fields update with the grid system selection. Let us see how it updates. As you can see the grid system has changed. For irregular also the grid system will be changing. Type a grid name that you want to see. This is linear grid. Select the parallel global plane for alignment or reference when the angle is specified. You want to use the plane that is XYZ, XZ plane and YY angle with YY. You let us say 45 degree. Let's see what happens actually. 100, 100, press OK. And uncheck this and check this. As you can see, the grid has been created in XZ direction with 45 degree angle from Y. We can edit it from here. Let us see another options of the grid. You can change the grip start point by selecting anyone anything from or at the existing node you can say. You can change the spacing. That will be the uniform spacing in X and Z directions. You can add the grids in the left as left and right directions by this. As you can see this is the zero point and let us change the angle to zero. And as you can see this is zero. There are five grids in the left, five grids in the negative Z, ten grids in the right and ten grids in the bottom. You can add the skew angle to the grids as well. As you can see this grid has been skewed from x to 15 degrees and to z let us say 15 degrees and let us see this grid in 3d if we can see something as you can see the grids has been created at 15 degree and what happens if we add 15 here also and 0 to his as you can see the grid seems to be at 15 degree only and let us add 45 to this x and z as you can see it angles to 15 degree from 45 45 degree from 15 degree let's get it 0 let's get this 0 let us understand it with another example let's make the grid to 45 degree and let's skew the x to 45 and z to 45 as you can see the skew angle is from the angle of plan this way you can change the angles as well the grids can be linear radial or irregular what we have just seen is a re linear re regular grid let's create another with irregular radial grid let's give it a radial name the plan shall be xz only the angle shall be zero in this case the origin will be zero start angle 0 sweep angle 360 degree base will be 36 let's say and radius 1 is let's say 1000 mm radius 2 is 2000 mm and the base will be 8 in that direction let's close this and start this let's edit and understand how the grid has been created the first radius that is from origin point to this as you can see is 1000 and the second radius is 2000 the 36 base is circular and this 8 base is in the radius direction let's say it is 4 as you can see it changes in that direction when you are dealing with circular elements or you want to create some beams in tanks circular tanks or anything like that you can use this grid system to fasten up your modeling process and it will give you a better result 
let us create one another with irregular shape this is irregular grid let's say origin is 0 0 only you can change the arbitrary plane by providing x y and z location you can get at get the grid at any arbitrary plane angle by using this you can change the plane to x z in our case we will be adding at 45 degree you, all you have to do is you just have to add the spacing the first line will be at 100 the second will be at 350 the third will be at 200 the next will be at 600 from that the previous location in z also let us say 100 500 200 750 press ok let us see how that grid came mm, let's see it i think the grid has not relative grid distance so but so turn so yes you do not need to give commas you need to give spacing 100 500 and 600 press ok and as you can see at 0 100 300 600 0 600 1200 the irregular grid has been drawn you can use this to create the grids as per architectural drawing or you can import the architectural grid directly by pressing import by import you can import state grid or dxf grid the state grid refers to the grid of any previous state pro model that you have created by dxf you can import the architectural center line drawing and you can see that there is these lines in that dxf file with the grid layer, layer one in our case it is beam in your case it can be center line and use the unit of drawing to import the actual grid angle of plan y by zero origin is this only press ok and let us see how that grid has come let's see the front view as you can see it came in the xy plan so this is the way you can see and you can see the coordinates x as well as y to get the idea of the coordinates and draw the lines effectively in that direction click on snap node and you can start drawing the elements that is beam in our case and anytime you can stop or say close the grids to see how the model has came thank you for watching this video do like share and subscribe the same and yeah don't forget to spread the word thank you